Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all my students and we meet again with this video. Um, I have select a few questions from the recall collection of past year of PSPM questions in your from your tutorial book, our tutorial book. And I do hope that all of you get ready. Uh, we we'll try to look into a few different kind of questions. Hopefully that it helps you to continue with the rest of it. Okay. So topic two differential equation uh, for both of uh, separable variables, integrating factor, and might be one or two of question of application. Okay, so radio radioactive substance. As we know that let's say in experiment one of scientists getting one call uh radioactive substance let's say in this amount so and uh, we call it stated uh, at the time the beginning of the experiment where t not equal to zero and the weight of this mass is what we call with initial mass of a recall in this case and after one time okay and then the current of the weight of this we call 80 grams so the weight of uh, current this will have come out we call uh, we call that half life of the uh, we call the half life the term of half life so we related with physics the things that you have learned before we call in the subject of physics so we relate with this topic here too okay now the case means that the amount or the weight of this radioactive substance is getting less and less so that's why we come up with a sign of negative term okay <clears throat> so from dn dt equal to negative kn okay so or uh, we divide it into two parts here on left side of this equal sign this is a house of n and here is the house of the variable of t through time okay because we're talking about the uh, uh, we call n gram respect to the time of t okay so then one over n dn equal to negative k dt and we integrate left and right okay this sign of curly sign here you can put it here or somewhere else because this is negative k is a constant not, not in fact that we call the integral of this at all so natural log of n equal to negative k t plus c so come up with a constant of e cancelling between the e and also the log here where n equal to e power of negative k t plus c okay so using the we call the rules of index where a to the power of n plus n equal to a to the power of n times a to the power of n so now this is negative e k t multiplied with e to the power of c so simplify this constant as an a e power of negative k t where a equal to e to the power of c okay so this is a question equation of the recall uh, for this uh, question here okay n stands for the current uh, mass of the gram of red this radioactive substance okay and now when k is a constant initially initially means that the beginning of the experiment where t equal to zero it's not that t the time is zero because time we have 12 noon 1 30 pm 5 30 am and so on but this we consider as an, the beginning of experiment t equal to zero and initially the amount is 80 grams so it means that the beginning of the um, uh, the weight of this radioactive substance here is 80 gram so and not after 100 years t1 so 100 meaning to the next question and question here we recall the uh, define the t for this question is in years okay in the year one year two year ten years 
100 years, 120 years. So when t equal to 100, it decay to, and the current of the, man, we call the substance here, which is 20 gram. Okay, so we use the first information, where n, the current mass, the beginning, which is n naught. So n naught is a p equal to a e power of negative k, where t equal to zero. 0 times negative k equal to 0, e power of 0 equal to 1. 1 times a equal to a, then a equal to a t. So the current mass equal to a t e power of negative k t. Okay, so this is the initial mass, the beginning of the experiment we call we found that it's 80 gram, and then after 100 years, then you use the next information given in the question then, when t equal to 100, and n, the current mass is 20 gram. So the current here now is uh, 20 equal to 80 e power of negative k, and t equal to Hundred. Then twenty divided by eighty one over four equal to e power of negative one hundred k. Okay. Um, let's continue here. So how are we going to eliminate this e? We come up with natural log. Okay natural log of 1 over 4 equal to natural log of e power of negative 100 k so can see between these two it is negative 100 k then k equal to negative log 1 over 4 okay it is natural log of 1 over 4 divided by negative 100 where Natural log of natural log of one over four equal to which is negative one point three eight one point three eight six divide by negative one hundred divide by negative 100 equal to 0 0.01386 okay so then we we call um, uh, we call complete this equation here where n equal to 80 e power of negative 0 0.01386 there you go. Now, express n in the terms of elapsed time t, which I think that we already found it. The first question here, a, here. Okay. The question of a here, and this is the one. So, calculate the amount of substance remain after 120 years. So, after 120 years, means that with t equal to 120. So n equal to 80 e power of negative 0 0.01386 and t is 120. Okay, so for this one here, you may use any apps that you have in your smartphone or use a calculator. Uh, 80 multiplied with e to the power of negative uh, negative 0 0.01386 multiplied with 120 equal to 15.16 amount of substance 
Okay, so that is the first solution for question. The first question I select here, which is question number two. Uh, in the order we call order uh, origin of the from the question uh, we call in the PSPM collection your tutorial book. Okay, question number two. Okay, what about this one here now? So the first equation of this. Okay, so then dy dx plus 2 over x times y equal to an x okay and given here be careful this is x equal to 2 y equal to 3 okay now uh, I change the form of this 2y divided by x make this one as a 2 over x times y because we like to compare this with this one, the general uh, general form of uh, integrative factor px times y equal to qx. But we can see here now, and here, so then px uh, equal to 2 over x and qx equal to an x. So we can find that integrative factor of vx, which is e power of integral of 2 over x dx. Okay, integral of 2 over x dx equal to 2 integral of 1 over x dx, which is 2 natural log of x. Okay, so it means that here it is e to the power of 2 natural log of x. Bring up here. And we cancel between e and the natural log here, then come up with x squared. Okay, this v, okay, vx, we multiply with every single term that we have in the, in the equation in this form, which means that we're going to multiply here, okay, uh, x squared dy dx plus x squared times 2 over x times y equal to x squared times x. Okay. Uh, class. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. If I derive respect to the x of vx, okay, vx, x squared here, and then y. Okay, so let's let uh, let's uh, we call expand this one by one. Derive x squared times y with respect to the x. So derive x squared, it give you two x multiplied with y. And then we copy all this again. X squared, and it's time for derive the y to the x. Derive x y equal to one, and because it's we derive the y with respect to the x, we come up with dy dx okay so let's compare this with this one here uh, x squared divide by x then you get then you get you see here it is 2xy 2xy agree and then x squared dy dx x squared dy dx can you see here now okay so derivative of x squared times y equal to expansion of the this uh, process here derivative of uh, differentiate of this that you get here now so if we integrate this one respect to we call the whole thing here we integrate respect to the x so we integrate everything here respect to the x so you see that it is actually that we we call normal we call because integral is antiderivative so between derivative and antiderivative so it is vx times y integral of this okay so we integrate this respect to the x and integrate on the left side so the left side and also integrate on the other side respect to the x so this one uh, derivative differentiate and integrate 
it gives us vx times y. Okay, and this one here, integral of x cubed dx. Again, uh, first we differentiate derivative of this one here. Okay, the whole the, the one that you can you see inside all this bracket. I'm sorry, I think that I make a mistake here. There you go. Because everything that you see in this bracket is derivative of x squared times y. So if we integrate between, if we come up with integration here, so integrate and derivative. One is differentiate and one is antiderivative. So we actually that opposite, we call cancelling each other. So then this one come up with a vx times y, which is vx equal to x squared times y and integral of x cubed dx x power of 4 divided by 4 plus c okay uh don't see okay you may simplify if you want to but let's say we like to find out what is the value of c okay so it's time for us now to substitute the value of x and y where x equal to 2, so 2 squared times y equal to 3, then 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4 plus c. 2 squared equal to 4, 4 times 3 equal to 12, 2 power of 4, 2 squared is 4, 8 and 16. 16 divided by 4, 4. So then, 4 plus c and c equal to 12 minus 4 equal to n a so now here now then here now we refer again to this equation it gives us x square y equal to x power of 4 divided by 4 plus c equal to 8 so then y equal to Divide by x square left and right. So x power 4 divided by x square. x square divided by 4 plus 8. Uh, oh, no, no. Okay, so x power 4 divided by x square. x square over 4. And then this one is 8 over x square. Okay, so find the value of y when x equal to half. So then when x equal to half then y equal to 1 over 2 square divided by 4 plus 8 divided by 1 over 2 square okay for question 15 here let's make it short it is 32.06 So, guys, girls, we move to the next question then. Okay, so I chose, I select this question uh, because one is, uh, I think that is one for separable variables and one is for integrating factor. Let's try. Okay, for question of A here, where x dy dx plus 4 equal to 3y minus dy x okay uh, let's try this okay so 3y minus 3 dy dx uh, so my idea is let's bring up we call the dy dx here negative 3 dy dx bring to the other side and it become x dy dx plus 3 dy dx equal to 3y 4 here beyond this side become negative minus 4 okay and then factorize dy dx okay dy dx so then x plus 3 dy dx equal to 3y minus 4 okay so switch the position of this, bring it to the side, and 3y minus 4, bring it to the side. So 
which I think that both are divide, right? So 1 divided by 3y minus 4 dy equal to x plus 3 dx. There you go. Okay, so now you can see here now there is all y, the variable of y on left side and x on the other side. So it's time for us to integrate this left and right. And this one here now, integral of 1 over ax plus b dx equal to natural log of ax plus b divided and derivative of ax plus b which is e. Okay, so now it is natural log of 3y minus 4 divided by derivative of 3y minus 4 which is 3 equal to and this one here x squared over 2 plus 3x plus okay so for question a here now we are going to try we are going to come up with the equation of y equal to fx so then uh multiply with 3 here so 3 divided by 3 and also multiply here with 3 so then natural log of 3y minus 4 equal to uh, multiply with 3 3x squared divided by 2 plus with 3 times 3x equal to 9x plus 3c and come up with the constant of e left and right to eliminate the lawn here then 3y minus 4 equal to e power of 3x squared divided by 3 times with e power of 9x times e to the power of c e power of 3c okay and let's say if i change this in the term of a but then because we have okay for this one here 3x okay not to make us uh, so we call confused then here 3 over 2 okay 3x square divided by 2 so I'll make this one here e power of 3x square divided by 2 plus 9x okay and then 3y equal to negative 4, then it becomes positive. So a e power of 3x squared divided by 2 plus 9x plus 4, then y equal to 1 over 3 a e power of 3x squared divided by 2 plus 9x plus 4. Okay, so there is a solution for question number 12a. Uh, if you compare the answers of mine with the one that given on the call in the pro tutorial book, it's quite different, almost the same. Okay, the only thing is they come up with a cube and how they we call simplify that is okay. Which I think that from the step we can see this is what I get. Okay, now. For question B, for question B, dy dx minus 2y equal to e to the power of x. And given that when x equal to 0, y equal to 2. So then class for this question, it clearly that we are going to solve this question using integrative factor because this in the form of dy dx plus px times y equal to qx. So according if we compare between these two, then px equal to negative 2 and qx equal to e to the power of x. So the integrative factor of vx here, e power of negative 2 
integral of negative 2 dx equal to e power of negative 2 x okay the integrative factor here e power of negative 2 x so then multiply this v with this equation here okay e power of negative 2 x dy dx minus e power of negative 2 x uh, times 2 y equal to e power of x times e power of negative 2 x okay so this one here is a derivative of e power of negative 2 x times y equal to okay what about this one here now e x and e power of negative 2 x e x times e power of negative 2 x then e power of x plus multiplication and between these two will we call uh, same base multiply so x plus negative 2 x which is e power x minus 2 x e power of negative x so here is e power of negative x so, and then derivative of e power of negative 2 x times y equal to all this so if we integrate respect to the x means that we are cancelling between this derivative sign and integral sign here so we integrate with the left side so e power of negative 2 x times y equal to integral of e power of negative x which is e power of negative x divided by negative 1 plus c okay now let's use the value given here where x equal to 0 then y equal to 2 so this is e power of e power of negative 2 where x equal to 0 multiply with y equal to 2 and this is negative e power of negative 0 plus c e power of negative 0 negative 2 times 0 is 0 e power of 0 equal to 1 1 times 2 equal to 2 and another e power of negative 0 here is 0 so negative 1 plus c so then c equal to 3 okay so now it is uh, e power of negative 2x times y equal to negative e power of negative x plus c equal to 3. Okay, so then y equal to negative e negative x divided by, divided by e power of negative 2x plus 3 divided by e power of negative 2x. Okay, so e power of negative x divided by this is just like e power of negative x divided minus with negative 2x. Okay, so negative times negative positive, so 2x minus x, 2x minus x equal to an x. So negative e power of x plus 3e power of 2x there you go okay so class this is a video if i may call my explanation is quite uh, fast so you may just make it slow or you rewind forward and just recall uh recall control by yourself in which minute or we mean or we call minute that you really want to know of what we call my explanation and just go through it okay so the next question which i think that the last one here now okay i choose the question that uh, have a sign of what we call trigonometric function okay so now dy dx plus cotangent x times y equal to to sine x uh, which I think that this also are the for the whole equation here is already in the form of general of 
dy dx plus bx times y equal to qx. Okay, so from here, let's label it here now. bx equal to cotangent x, which is cos x divided by sine x. Okay, cotangent is also cos divided by sine. And qx equal to 2 sine x. So to find the different factor here, vx equal to vx equal to e to the power of integral of cotangent, which is cos x divided by sine x dx. Okay, so to solve this, uh, <coughs> We are going to use a substitution, which is u equal to sine x, then du equal to differentiate sine, it gives you cos x dx. Okay, integral of 1 over sine, which is u, okay, 1 over sine, and cos x dx, cos x dx is du. Then e integral of 1 over u, e natural log of u, then case between these two is a u and integrating factor of this vx equal to u where u equal to sine x. Okay, so it means that this vx integrating factor we are going to multiply with every single term that we have in the equation here uh, sine x dy dx plus sine x cotangent x times y equal to sine x multiplied with 2 sine x. Again, uh, let's recall, uh, see the process of this reversely. Okay. Derivative of sine x multiply with y okay so differentiate sine x then you get cos x multiplied with y and just now we differentiate sine it gives you cos multiplied with y is now time turn for y here now so we rewrite rewrite again sine x here so differentiate y respect to the x differentiate y equal to 1 and because it's to differentiate y with respect to the x here, then come out with dy dx. Okay, so now look at this one here now. On the left side, okay, the left part here, we compare between this. Okay, um, <coughs> okay, uh, sine x dy dx, sine x dy dx, okay, exactly the same. But what about this one here now? It's not the same here, right? Sine x cotangent xy cos xy. Okay. Let's make some adjustment here. Where cotangent equal to cos x divided by sine x. What can you see here now? cos x multiplied with y, cos x multiplied with y. Now, we got both uh, we call, uh, equal on left hand side. So, derivative of sine x multiplied with y, it gives you cos x y sine x dy dx. <coughs> so, the derivative of this, it can give you on here. So, if we integrate respect to the x, well, actually that Integrate this everything here is for x. It gives you back the vx times y. Where vx according to the here now is sine x, and it gives you back this one. Okay, the we call cancelling between differentiate and integrate. Then it gives you sine x multiplied with y. Okay, so now integrate here and integrate this one here respect to the x. So this is expansion of derivative of sine x times y respect to the x. So uh, we call 
the process of derivative of sine x and y and give you this one here. So we integrate and it gives you a back vx times y, which is sine x multiplied with y. Okay, so 2 is a constant, take it outside. Sine, sine x. So sine multiplied with sine integral of sine square x dx. Okay, so then here now we use the half angle formula for two integral of this come up with one minus cos two x divided by two dx. Okay, so two multiply with this one here now. It is 1 over 2 integral of 1 minus cos 2x dx. So then, and here, okay. One over two integral of one equal to an x, and then half minus 1 over 2 integral of cos equal to sine 2x divided by 2. Okay. And plus c. So then 2 times 2 equal to 4. So now 2 divided by 2 equal to 1x. 2 divided by 4 equal to 2 again. So minus sine 2x divided by 2 and plus with c. Okay. So y multiplied with sine x and this is the answer. Okay. So which I think that we almost at the end. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's it. And I do hope that with these four questions and the solution that I will call explain to all of you, helping you to continue with the rest of the question. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.